Hello everyone and welcome to the first video that I am filming in my new office here. Uh, it's gonna be... It's gonna be a minute. I've got to get used to things. Uh, I clearly don't have anything set up in the background quite yet, or I suppose I should say I've got a couple things set up, but for the most part we're still working on it, so my apologies, but I figured doing a Pokemon unboxing, you're not gonna see much of the background anyways. So, so yeah, I am very behind on opening Pokemon cards because I've been trying. I've had a new job, I've had to move apartments, and life has just been too busy to open up Pokemon cards, but they've just been sitting here and I really wanna open them up. Do you wanna help? Yeah, I think so. He said these are my boxes. <laughs> okay, do. Let's pull you a Charizard, huh? But yeah, I've got five Obsidian Flames building battle boxes here. Very excited about it. I hope I can get all four of the, we are hoping that we can get all five of the promo cards in here. And uh, I suppose it's time for us to get started. Yes, do. Let's get it started. So let's go ahead and open these up together. Let's see which promos I get. Very exciting. Um, if you've somehow never seen, I shouldn't say somehow, like it would be impossible for you to not know what a build and battle box is. I have plenty of people that comment and say they know nothing about Pokemon cards here on my channel, but basically this is supposed to be more for people who actually enjoy playing the trading card game. For me, this is, a collector's dream or just a good way of filling out my binders basically because we get booster packs in here and we get promo cards and I love promo cards. It just brings back you know all the memories of when you opened certain things up or certain events and that sort of stuff and I just really like that. Got a nice clean desk now unlike my last apartment and it's proving to be a big problem here because someone is able to get on the desk now. Yeah. So we've got the box got a little protective sleeve cover on there and then on the inside we get some I think this like explains some new mechanics or whatever in the game and then we get our little stack with our promo card on it which one did we get mawile okay and so as you can see there it's got the obsidian flames stamp and then in this stack it's got like a pre-made kind of a deck in there for playing the game like I said I don't know how to play the game so I don't know if you would technically need to put more cards in the deck or if that deck is just like pre-constructed as is, it's perfect, I, I don't know. But then on top of that, we also get four booster packs. So like I said, I'm here for the promo and I'm here for the booster packs. Definitely still have a lot of cards from Obsidian Flames and honestly all of the Scarlet and Violet sets <laughs> that I still need to collect. But now it is time to rip on into the next one. See what promo we get in here. Ba -ba -da -ba. We can't see it yet. Ba -ba -da oh no that's our one repeat all of the other boxes need a different promo in order for me to get all the promos i mean it is not the end of the world if i have to buy them as a single they usually don't end up being worth too much because you know they're easily accessible unless you know there's like a promo of charizard or something of course those are usually they end up being more expensive but usually these build and battle ones are like five dollars at the most because some of the promos do seem a little harder to pull for some reason in some of them or i don't know maybe they're just more playable or whatever but either way who do we got am i gonna be sad please be different i didn't know i mean i didn't know what any of the promos were for this set Better. I love Cleffa so much, you guys. One of my favorite Pokemon. Just too cute. And the artist is Mina Nakai, who I really enjoy in the Pokemon TCG. That artwork is just adorable. Oh, that promo pleases me deeply. Or greatly, I shouldn't say deeply. Y'all are gonna get the wrong idea. But two more boxes. We have a chance, you guys, at getting all the promos. We still do, we do. Can we do it though is the question. Or no, it's not. Because we can. Will we do it is the question. Ba ba da ba? Okay. Palafin, you're looking kind of. You look like a mix between a dog and a dolphin with those paws. I don't, I don't know about that one. I mean, I wasn't ever the biggest fan of this Pokemon, but like, hmm, okay. I mean, I'm just happy. The third one, yay. I certainly love to see it. Okay. 
deep breaths. Like I said, I don't even know what the third one is that I'm looking for here. Um, and if I am remembering correctly, these promos in here, they're just like an alternate art of a card that you can actually get in the set. Like I think the attacks and HP and all of that is the same. It's just the artwork that's different. So like the Pokemon that's on the promo, it's linked to the set somehow, you know, which is cool. I can appreciate that. But let's see my friends, moment of truth. Am I gonna be sad or happy? Ah, oh, how can I be sad at another Cleffa? Cleffa fucking precious! Oh. What was the other promo? Now I'm just curious. Oh, Togekiss! Is there too much glare? Can you see that? Togekiss was the other one. Oh, womp womp. I do love my big, big fat marshmallow cloud baby of the sky. I do, but that's okay. Like I said, we'll have to just buy it online as a single. That's a-okay. But now we have all these packs of cards, my friends. 25 packs of cards to be exact. That is just, what, 11 packs short of a booster box? So we've got a lot to open. We've got a lot of battling to do. So let's go ahead and let's open them up in the order that I actually opened up the boxes, yeah? So it'll take me a minute to figure out the setup here, but hopefully you can see me and with the lighting, I don't know, hopefully I can figure this out. It's just, it's brighter, but also simultaneously because I don't want to be like in the light like this. That's not good for, it's, I'm gonna need to figure it out. Uh, but we are starting off with this Mawile. I've adjusted you again, my apologies. I also can't see my other viewfinder very well with this lighting, so I hope things are in focus. Like I said, please stick with me for these growing pains. As I said, we are gonna start off with the Mawile here, the first Mawile that I opened, and we're starting off with the Pokemon that I hate the most. <laughs> One of my most hated, anyways, on this pack artwork. That's not to say there's gonna be bad cards inside, though, so let's give him a chance. We'll see if he revs up his engine and gets me a good pull. It looks like we've got the black border. It has been a long time. It's been weeks since I've opened up Pokemon cards, so, like, I don't... What am I doing? We are starting off with my precious baby. Oh, Cliffa. I love you so much. Let's see what else we can get in this pack. I mean, I'm really trying to think of which cards I'm still looking for in this set. It's, oh man, you guys are at a different angle, so it's very hard to hold the cards like this. Um, and I do think there's something back there. Maybe not, it might just be a hollow. But I'm trying to think of like the main cards I wanna pull out of this set still. So we've got a reverse Scyther. We've got a reverse Arboliva. And we do have an EX card. We've got Palmot. I do have this one, I believe, but we're still gonna take it. We are still gonna take this precious baby. It's still a hit. And then you get a code card. Don't be greedy and enjoy. Now on to Dragonite. I mean, I would think that the main cards I'm missing are from like the art gallery cards and then full arts and that sort of stuff. Obviously the Charizards. Um, I've pulled none of them, not even the main set Charizard, the EX, so that would be a good one to pull. Uh, we've got a Lit Chonk, we've got a Barboach, yeah, and with these new sets, you always think you have something, because you can see something peeking out. It's probably just the hollow pattern, but you never know, and it does get you a little excited, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> We've got a reverse Eevee, we've got a reverse Froakie, C, and then just a hollow clay doll. So nothing special in that one. Unless those are some reverses that I still need for the binder. I don't know that off the top of my head, so there might have been something new in there. I just don't know for now. So are all the code cards gonna be black because you get a hollow or better? I forget. I forget, and I feel like it shifts from set to set now whether it means something or not. So uh, we're just gonna try and roll with it, my friends, and have a good time opening up Pokemon cards. I do think that's the most important thing to do here. We've got a reverse Togedemaru. Okay, we're getting gold. Anything behind you? No, but let's, okay, I do love when they match the hollow or the rare card with the energy. Not that I think they do that on purpose, but luck of the draw. Um, we've got, is it Artisan? I think in my brain that's how I pronounce it. Can you guys see this? Does it need to like come into the light more? Yes, look at the gold beautiful. I do think, you know, gold Pokemon are my favorite, 
but I do like the gold locations as well. I think they're really pretty. And then gold energies, and then the gold like Pokeballs, and then the gold items outside of Pokeballs are probably my least favorite. But uh, yeah, I do really enjoy these location cards. And as far as I know, I don't have this one. So I am very happy to have pulled it. It's beautiful. Do we have, oh yes, they usually stick a Pokemon in these now. So we've got a little Lichonk down there. I was gonna guess it was the Sunflora there in the pot, but I actually think that that's just a sunflower. But do you see the little lechonk by the bench there? Pretty precious. That's pretty precious. I do. I just, I love when they do that. The special little details, my friends, gets me every time. Now, last pack for this first build and battle. I mean, a gold card. That's doing pretty darn good if you ask me. Some build and battles, you get absolutely nothing. So you gotta really, I mean, always, you gotta just take what you get because that is how Pokemon cards work <laughs> if you are opening packs up. It's just literal luck of the draw. Seismito, I don't feel like I've seen that card before. So I might not have that card. I mean, like I said, I just, I'm very behind on Obsidian Flames, I am. So there are definitely plenty of cards that I still need. So let's see what we've got. We have got a Reverse Armor Rouge. We have got a Reverse Darkrai, which is a rare, which is great. And then it happens, I guess. <laughs> There's your code card. Okay. So, not bad on our first build and battle. Let's see if our second Mawile pack or box is going to do us any better. It also had this guy on top. Let's see though. You never know. Might be something good inside. Can't judge a pack by its cover. Yes, we can bring that from Don't Judge a Book by its cover. I think we can. Look at this precious Dolliv. Love her. So cute. Time pole, an adorable surskit. Oh, do we recognize that windmill? I think it was just on that gold card. Uh, we've got a Dragonair. We've got an Armor Rouge. I don't recognize that nose pass either. Uh, we've got a reverse nose pass. We have got a reverse gum shoes. And we have got a hollow Gita. So I'm not starting off with anything exciting in that pack, but that's okay. We got three more from this box. So let's see what we can get. How are you guys doing with your Obsidian Flames and just Scarlet and Violet in general? Are you behind like me? <laughs> Have you had some pressing life matters to attend to that you haven't been able to open up Pokemon cards as much as you may have previously? It's possible. I can't be the only one going through all these transitions right now, but we've got a Reverse Dragonair, we have got a Reverse Finizen, and we've got a Holotoxtricity again with some fire energy and a code card behind. Okay, Charizard. I, I could use... I could use you for this build and battle. Let's see if we can get something. I mean, honestly, just anything I don't already have. That is how I am always the most happy in these openings. So let's go ahead, keep on opening, and see what we can do. Such a gorgeous Lapras. I feel like artists always do Lapras right. Uh, we've got a Crepominable for a reverse, a Swablu, Yikes, my friends. See what I mean, though? Not all build and battles are built the same. That's for darn sure. Just like any Pokemon product. <laughs> I don't think they ever guarantee you anything in any of their stuff. So, like, you really just have to take what you get. So, Tadbulb. We've got a Steeny. I think I just see a Hollow in the background. So, let's keep our fingers crossed. Let's keep up the encouragement here and see if we can get something in our reverse slots. Any art rares or anything? We've got a Diglett. Nope, we've got a Wug Trio and a Palafin. So, we didn't even get a reverse rare as far as I saw in that one. Not gonna lie, that doesn't feel great, but we've got Cleffa here. Can Cleffa save the day? Technically, we've got two Cleffas, but this particular Cleffa, can you do good by us? Can you please pull me something new, something amazing? I would love to see it. Let's find out if there's anything in this pack, this first Cleffa pack. But yes, how are you guys doing with Obsidian Flames? You doing okay with it? Have you pulled the Charizards? I haven't. That's okay. I haven't opened up a ton of Obsidian Flames, but uh, yeah, 
no Charizards for me so far. Uh, we've got a reverse Glimet. We've got a reverse Shuckle, so cute. And then a Thunderous for a hollow. Okay, friends, we gotta pick it up. We gotta pick it up. Come on, that's five packs in a row with absolutely nothing, please. <laughs> Even just a reverse rare. I mean, really, I'm not trying to be picky here. Just something, just something that I can add to a hits pile would be very nice. So let's see if we can do it here. That's right, let's encourage myself and keep on going. Oh, double chandelure. We have got a reverse zigzagoon. Listen, it's not the big boy. It's not the alternate art from the art gallery, but it's Charizard. I don't have this card yet. I won't have to pay a premium on buying this as a single. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure I've said this before, but like Charizard is not one of my favorite Pokemon. It's not one of my least favorite. I think Charizard is cool, but like I don't have the same feelings toward it as <laughs> the prices reflect online. So uh, yes, we have got the Terra type Charizard EX. What a beaut. What an absolute beaut. It's a nice one. I love these little crystal, crystallized Pokemon. They just... I just feel like they would come as, what's the company? My mom has tons of them. Um, they make all the glass stuff. And they make like glass animals and stuff. I'm sure there's more than one company that does them, but like, I just feel like they could be made into little glass figurines and would look really cute as a collection. Why hasn't Pokemon jumped on that yet? I think that's a fabulous idea, personally, anyways. I would collect them, heck yes. They would look so cool, um, but let's see see what we can get out of here or have they made them and I just don't know about it that's also very possible I feel like it's always happening where like you see something new from Pokemon all the time that it's just impossible to know absolutely everything that they have ever created right uh, we've got a reverse Larvitar a reverse Floatzel and another hollow dark eye okay well I hope that Charizard isn't gonna be the only hit out of that one certainly possible, but uh, let's take a look at this final pack out of this building battle box. Let's see if we can pull something good. Apologies for the sirens. I hope everyone is okay, but sorry, that one's very loud going past my window. Beautiful Espeon. Sharpedo. Oh my gosh, that looks like gold. Uh, Tadbulb. Oof. We've got a reverse Dratini. pulled this yay toad's cruel ex all right let's go and let's take another look at this one yes yes look at the sparkles in the direct sunlight can we see them nicely on camera Ooh. i know a lot of people don't like those sparkles but i i do i'm a fan of glitter so like I like it. It looks, you know, I get it. Like, it's a cheaper look, I guess, for a hollow or whatever. But I like it. <laughs> Cheap doesn't mean bad all the time. And hits are hits. So, next up, this palafin. What do you got for me, palafin? Anything good in here? Is this, a, can't remember if this is a set or if it was the last set that had palafin as an art card. Um, I think it might have been the last set, but... Finizen, we have got adorable little Oddish, we have got Dratini, a Belly Bolt, a Flamigo, a Bronzong, we have got a reverse Cutie Vulpix, we have got a reverse beautiful Pidgey artwork, and we have got a Hollow Entei. All right, and a code card for y'all. Do you guys have any opinion on building battle boxes? Do you, are you like me, you mainly get them for the promo card and then just hope you have good luck? Or do you think that they always are lucky for you? Like some people feel that way with the three pack blisters where they're like, I always get good luck with those. I personally don't. I get either quite good luck with those or absolute crap luck with those. <laughs> Which I kind of feel like is how it works with most Pokemon products for me. I feel like I rarely am right in the middle. But either way, reverse Lillipup. We've got a reverse Cryogonal. And... Hey! Okay, I 
thought it was the Pomod again. All right, Cloth EX. I don't have this one. Cloth, Cloth. Doesn't that, that looks like if someone asked me to voice act for Cloth, that's what they would get. Would I get hired? I'm sure there's gotta be a more annoying character out there than Cloth. But maybe not. You tell me. Oh, that's one of the cards. Any of those cards, I think. No. I've pulled the Vespaquen. So what is it? Just the Tyranit? Is it just the Tyranitar and Vespaquen? Or was the Slow King in this one? Those, like, full art looking tarot cards. That would be good to pull. I really do want that Tyranitar with the big old light bulb on his head. That would be nice. But, like I said, we are on the lookout for that Charizard. That alt art Charizard. That would be best case scenario. I think it's the most expensive card in the set. Uh, belly Bolt. We have got double Belly Bolt for our reverses. That's kind of awesome. And then a Gita for a hollow. I was gonna say, is there a uh, Belly Bolt EX in this set? I don't think it's in this set. I think it was in the last one that we could have pulled. Can you imagine two reverse Belly Bolts and then a Belly Bolt EX? <laughs> That would be pretty fun, I think. I like Belly Bolt. I had Belly Bolt on my team for Scarlet and Violet. Or I should say for Violet, since I only played the Violet version. But let's see what we can do in this final pack for uh, the, the Dolphin Dog Palafin. Yes. I don't know why all of a sudden that doesn't sound like it's actually his name. But we've got a Varum. An adorable small live. No, no, okay, so not the best build in battle, but we did get a hit, so better than no hits. <laughs> um, but now we're gonna end on this final Cleffa build in battle. So let's see what we can get. Maybe we're saving the best for last. There's still that Dragonite EX. Um, I think it's one of the Terra EX cards in this set. Um, I haven't pulled that, so that would be good. Sorry, I just bumped the camera. I think you guys are okay, though. Let's see. I was just about to say, I actually don't think I've pulled a rainbow from this set yet. They don't do rainbows anymore, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, Cassie, that you, you haven't, or you shouldn't have anyways. That would be quite the error. Um, but let's see. Let's, oh, guys, I see something peeking out in the back, and it is not just a hollow. Let's see. We've got a reverse Darmanitan. Got another reverse dark cry. <laughs> this one, I think, is. Please tell me I'm not the only one getting trolled by the Ice Q E X. It just. Because there's fire! You're thinking you're gonna get a Charizard! <laughs> but yeah, we did get the reverse rare dark cry again. Okay, and then this Ice Q E X. <sighs> I don't think I've pulled this one. I think I've just pulled the bigger version of it. Oh yeah, so that's what it was. Maybe it's, is it Vespaquen, Ice Q, and then the Tyranitar in this set of those like full arty looking uh, tarot cards? That might be it. Um, I don't know that I've pulled this Ice Q EX though. Maybe I have, but I don't know that I have. So I'm just gonna try and be happy about it. <laughs> Yay for two hits in one pack. Have I pulled a triple hitter pack yet? I think I've talked about it before, how amazing that would be, you know? Even if it was, you know, just like two reverse rares and then an EX card, that would still be a triple hitter. Um, I don't think I've done it. Double hits, yes, but I don't think now that we have the opportunity to get triple hits, I don't think I've done it. So let's see what these last few packs, maybe I can do it, I don't know. Let's see, nope, not in this one, Diglett. <laughs> We've got a Swablu, and then we've got a Skull Villain. My goodness, my friends, no art cards. Although, maybe now that I'm thinking about it, there aren't as many in this one. Now that I'm kind of remembering back to building my binder, I don't feel like there were as many pages of like full arts and art cards. So maybe that's the main problem. Maybe it's not me being unlucky. Maybe it's just, there's just not as many to pull. Oh yeah, so the Pidgeotto and Pidgeot have an art card. I pulled the Pidgey out of a random like check lane blister pack that I opened on my own, which was very exciting. Um, but 
Yeah, I don't think I've pulled the Pidgeotto or Pidgeot. Okay, we've got an Altaria, very cute. We have got a ball toy, and I think I see something. Victini? Oh, I do. I think I've pulled this one. I think it was actually the first EX that I pulled out of this set because it's just, it's so cute. I think I've only pulled it once though, so we will take another one. Look how cute this Victini is. Yes, it's so sparkly. It, you just have so many rotund parts of your body. You're just so squishy and cute. Okay, guys, final pack of the opening. What do you think? Anything good? Oh no. Oh no. Could be. There's always the possibility. <laughs> Until we see it, technically, we have a chance. Whew, and pull in something good. Come on, come on. I'm feeling that, maybe that Tyranitar. I'm kind of feeling the Tyranitar. Am I going to speak it into existence here? Probo Pass? Linoon? Nope, we've got a Boppy. <laughs> <laughs> not my favorite Pokemon. Y'all know this. But it's an art card and I don't have it yet as far as I know. And it is kind of cute. I don't want to admit it, so no. It's awful. It's kind of cute. It's kind of cute. You're like working on a train or some kind of locomotive there, buddy. I suppose it's a car. I don't know. I don't know anything about automobiles of any kind. I'm so happy. <laughs> oh my god, I'm just looking at details in the background here on my own. Um, but you can see there's another one in the back helping out. Yay for friendship, teamwork. And then also there's like, I'm assuming it's like a bottle spray of some kind of automobile lubricant. And it's got a little goomy on it. So it's like a goopy lubricant or something. That's, I just, I love little details like that. Who is ready for a recap? I know it looks way more stacked than it actually is because I haven't taken the promos out of their wrappers yet. But um, this particular Mawile here, you did the worst. You literally pulled me absolutely nothing, not even a reverse rare. Just saying, shame on you. Shame, 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 shame. It's okay, but shame. <sighs> Next up, this palafin that we got. Uh, you are second to last place because you only got us one pull. Granted, I'm happy about it. I haven't gotten this card yet, but like, you just got us a Cloffy X. Not the best, but I'm gonna take it. Then, adorable Cleffa, you pulled us the middle, middle best. You got us a couple EX cards, one of which, actually both of which I don't have, so very exciting. We got the Toad's Cruel EX, and then you also were able to pull me the Terra Charizard EX, which I am so pleased about. So a little strange putting this one in the middle, but it is what it is. Um, Mawile, maybe you redeemed yourself a little bit. You got second place. You got both last and second place out of five, so. Very good. Uh, you got us a Reverse Rare, Dark Rye. You also got us a Palmont EX, which I do have. And then you got us our one gold card of the day. That's very exciting. I don't have it, and I love it. Little lit junk down there. But Cleffa, this Cleffa, you did the best, babe. You did the best, I think, anyways. In any case, you pulled us the most. So you got us another Reverse Dark Rye. You got us our only art card, which is great. I appreciate it. <laughs> and I don't have this one, so very much appreciate it. You got us a Victini EX, and then you also got us an Ice Q EX, Terraform, which I don't think I have. So yay, and yay. All done. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I guess I shouldn't say all done. We can go ahead and put this stuff in the binder real quick. So let me go sleeve it up and then we can do just that. All right, so we were good with the lighting. <laughs> now we've got this stripe. The sun is peeking out, but either way. First things first, we have to, before adding our other hits to the binder. I know the hits, it looks much more stacked than it was in the recap, but there's a reason. Anywho, uh, we gotta put away our promo cards. So, promo binder ahoy. We are starting off with number 36. So, let's go ahead and see. 
I've got 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right, so I do hate separating them like this, but I guess that's just the way it is. So, palafin, you're going to go here. I had to separate my last uh, set of building battles as well, so it's okay. It happens. Uh, but, palafin, you have been added. Now we can add in cutie little clever. Number 37. Shwoop. And we've got a couple of mawiles, which is 39, so toga kiss must be number 38. Thank you, do always so helpful. <laughs> but yeah, that's all we got for promos, so promos are away. Good. But now, onto the main set. Very exciting. We've got lots to add here. Still haven't pulled a blossom, but uh, I mean, haven't pulled these yet either. Womp womp. But we can go ahead and add in this Toad's Cruel EX. So in you go, bud. Swoop. Only pulled one Scoville in so far, so we can add friendship behind there. Very good. Now let's see. I think I've already pulled a couple of Entes. Ah, lies. I haven't. I've only pulled the one, so you can can also have a friend. Whoop, Victini, like I said, I had already pulled that one, but I haven't pulled a second. Now I have, so we can add some more friendship. In you go. I did finally pull a couple of chandelures, yay, <laughs> for pulling an uncommon. I'm gonna slide that on in and take off the sticky note. We also got the Ice QEX, which yay, I hadn't pulled yet. So good job, newness. Look at this, my friends. We officially have, I think it might be the first two pages in my Obsidian Flames binder that has all the cards in. So that's very exciting. Uh, we also were able to pull Seismitoad. Still no Cub Chew, but uh, at least we pulled this Seismitoad, which was horribly cut on the side. <laughs> Whatever, in you go. Welcome to the team. Some of us are a little broken and damaged here, but you know, we all try and get along. Palafin I've pulled many times, so this will be bulk. Same with Thunderous and Toxtricity, lots of bulk. Pomot, yes, I've only pulled you the once, so we can add more friendship. In you go. Clay Doll, I've pulled a bunch, right? Yeah, so that will go, well, these three will go into bulk. Need you. A, what I'm assuming, common spoink, where are you at? Haven't pulled you yet either, uh, but let's see, let's see. We have our beautiful cloth, must not be till the next page, indeed. Okay, we're gonna slide that on in here. Ugh, ugh, I'm trying to be super careful because I just painted my nails. <laughs> Uh, we have also got this beautiful boy. We're gonna slide him on in. Swoop. In you go. Sticky note off. Oh, feels so good. Let's see. So these pages are almost full. Very nice. Dark Rye we have pulled many times. So these three will also go into bulk. Um, we pulled a new Oinkalone, which must be on the next ish page. Two pages away. There we go. <laughs> Yay for another uncommon addition. So strange that some of these are so hard for me to apparently pull. Uh, we've pulled many Gita in our life, so she will go into bulk. Uh, we did finally get Letter of Encouragement. We've got a few trainer cards to add here, which is great. Yay! So most of my pages are starting to get full, at least in the main set here. This is very exciting. Like I said, in the main set. <laughs> Obviously not here, but uh, we got a patrol cap, so that's nice. We can slide that on in, Whoop. and we got a vengeful punch. So it looks like we're just missing the one trainer card. Okay, there we go. We've got this Varum illustration rare. Let's go ahead and put that in. Beautiful, very nice. And then our gold card, we've got Artisan. Let's see, where is this gonna end up going? Next page, indeed. Okay, so gold rares are hyper rares now. Maybe I'll get the new naming system down, but we'll see, it might take some time. I shouldn't say might, it will take time. But uh, these are all just uh, reverses and whatnot. So let's go ahead and see if we got new stuff. Surely we did, and we did. Starting off with Scyther and Shuckle. We already pulled this small live but only one of them so we'll put another one in there our believer should go right 
here. Vulpix, you can have a friend. Darmanitan, welcome to the family. Same to you, Chandelure. And Armor Rouge and Floatzel. Yes, we love all these new additions. And friendship, friendship is important too. Diagonal, in you go. Brokey, in you go. Wug Trio, in you go. Okay, lots of friends. Uh, we also have a Finizen, number 61. So you can go right on in there. See if we have this tad bulb. We do, but we can give it a friend. Same with the belly bolt. And we can also add in our new belly bolt. Yay! Ball toy would be on the next page. Indeed. Let's give you a friend to keep company. We got a couple of diglets, but it is a new one, so we will just add those two friends right on in there. Larvitar, I'm sorry, you're our first bulk reverse. Nose pass, you can go on in. Crabominable, we can also give you a friend. We got the other Glimmet, yay! Darkrai would be on the next page. Yes, we've pulled this one already, but we can at least give you one friend. Togedemaru, friend the room. We finally have a card on this page. Very exciting. Uh, Dratini should also six, seven, be around here. I should have my list up because I'm probably skipping over some spots where I needed to make room or skip over, you know, for EXs that don't exist, but I'm just, I'm in a rush. So we're going to slide that in. Pidgey. Oh yeah, there must have been a lot to go from 160 to 162 to 166. I definitely missed something here because there will be a Pidgeotto after that. Um, but Eevee, I've already pulled you, so you are bulk. Zigzagoon is 167, so you can go on in here. Too many Swablus, but we can have one friendship added. Lillipup can have a friend. Gumshoes is new. Very nice. Poppy, 193. 123. So in you go. And then you might be wondering what all of this is. These are not reverses, but these come in the pack that has the promo card in it, and they're basically just like alternates to the normal card from the set, from the set in the sense that these don't have a hollow on it when they normally would. Um, so I think that's kind of cool, so I like to keep these. Uh, so I'm just going to put these in, in the last empty slots of the binder. Actually, since I have a few things I need to add, I am just going to go ahead and add a whole nother page. Page, um, especially because we have so many duplicates of this palafin. So we can slide that in. We can also put these in. I mean, this is just, like I said, this is extra. No one needs this in their binder to complete it. Although I guess if you are a completionist, you would need these cards. So, you know, it is what it is. So Toxtricity. Eh, we'll put four in a slot. We'll make an exception. Uh, we also have Togekiss. We've got lots of Togekiss. Shwoop. And then I don't know why I like to keep these, but I do. These also come in those packs with the promo cards and everything, you know, the pre-constructed deck. So it's got some tips and then on the back it just has some of the pack artworks. Uh, so I do like to keep these. <laughs> silly as it may seem. So I'm just gonna flip these around and like I said slide them in here and let them let them be what they are honestly. You can see all the pack art works. This one we can flip around so we can see some tips. I don't know it really doesn't matter but there we go. There it is. Those were my additions. I hope you enjoyed. Ah now we are done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of watching me open some building battle boxes for Obsidian Flames. Sad I didn't get uh, all, f all four of the promos, but you know, it is what it is. That's honestly usually what happens. <laughs> I mean, God, I've, I think I've had it happen before where I got four of the same one and then one other one. So like only two out of the four and it just, it hurt. It, it can hurt. It can. Um, that's why it's always safer to buy singles. <laughs> but in any case, it's still very fun to open up this stuff with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Certainly let me know any answers to questions. Like I said that I asked earlier in the video, like how your Obsidian Flames binder is coming along, how you doing just in general, and any comments down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe, tippity tap that notification bell down below, and become a member of my casserole family. Be here on this channel or my main channel. I'd love to have you here, there, and everywhere. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then.
bye